Hello everyone, this is M. Allen West of FlashCadaver.com and today we're going to make a basic hit counter to uh, collect information about how many times an object's been hit in uh, UPBGE. So we'll start off with the basic default cube. Click Shift A, create another cube. Go over to your move tool, move those objects apart from each other. Uh, go ahead and turn on this magnet tool here. Hold down Shift, select both objects, move them up. Shift A, create a plane, S to scale. So now we've got this set up. Next we're going to go into our shader. Select each object and add a material. Go over to your materials tab over here. Add a material. We can change it to whatever colors we want. This is going to be our enemy, so I'm going to go ahead and make it red. Going to make this one blue for our hero character. Next we need to shift A and add a text object. And this is going to be our score counter. So R to rotate. Z in the Z axis, 90. R to rotate in the Y axis by clicking Y on your keyboard, 90. And there we go. Now we got the text set up. Tab into edit mode, backspace, type in 10, tab out of edit mode. Now we're going to go ahead and drag this up. I'm going to drag this area up down here. Go into our logic brick. And with our game uh, hero character selected, go ahead and add a keyboard. For the key press, click here and do spacebar. Add a sensor over here. We'll change it to motion. Change the motion to character. Select jump down here. Connect these two together. And with our character still selected, we'll go over into physics, properties, and change that to character. Now if I click P on my keyboard with my mouse over here, my character can now jump. So let's continue with the character controls real quick. So we'll add another sensor. This one will be a keyboard press D. And then we'll add a motion. The motion will be positive in the Y. Let's go ahead and connect these up and see if that's correct. P and a keyboard. Yep, D is that's uh, D on the keyboard is uh, going to be for our forward. So now we're going to go ahead and add another keyboard press. And on this one, it's going to be A for backwards. Add another motion. And this one's going to be negative 10 in the Y. <coughs> Connect these together, go back up in this area up here, P on the keyboard, back forward. So now our character can move forward. We're going to change this collision object on this character by selecting this character, checking this box, and now it's set the box collision. We're going to do the same thing on this character. Now click P on your keyboard. Well, the collisions are a little bit better. Okay, so that's good enough for right now. Um, minimize all this. So now we've got all the motions set up. This is the easy part. So now select your text. Click Add. Wait a minute.
yeah, we'll add a uh, game property. We're going to change that to an integer. We're going to name it text. Oh, wait. Ah, I had the light selected. That's why. Okay. <laughs> so with your text selected, click Add Game Text Property and change it from string to integer. Now over here, we're gonna add an action. We're gonna make it a properties. Change the properties to text and assign the value as negative one. And then change, well, first off, we're going to set it up incorrectly on purpose. So select your text and hold down shift and also select your character. So when you have both of them selected, you can get information on both of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a collision, change this collision to MP, change it to red. So basically when it hits this red material, this character hits this red material, it will do an action. So we'll connect it over to our text property. We might have to ha add an and statement. So connect these two together. And if we click P in our keyboard now, and we click hit the character, it changes it to negative one, which is not what we want to do. So what we need to do is change it from assign to add. Click P on the keyboard. Now it subtracts 1. Of course, we can go into the negatives. So now what we want to do is we want it to perform an action whenever it hits so many times. So we're going to select the enemy and we're going to select the text object. So on the enemy, which is cube 001, we are going to add an edit object. So edit object and we are going to set that to in the object and then over on our text properties which is this one right here because it says text we are going to add a properties text zero so what this says is if the score equals zero it's going to end this object. So we're going to click and drag these two together. And if you have to, add an AND statement because sometimes they won't connect. So click that, select that, click P on the keyboard, forward, 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 until we get down to zero, and boom, character's gone. So Let's go ahead and change this to something a little bit more fun. We'll change it to a rigid body. So P on your keyboard. Now you can see the character gets destroyed once it reaches zero on the points. Now you can also add um, a restart frame. So you could go up here and you could have like uh, game and then restart game. So you could set up a restart game as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to drag these together as well. Let's click P on a keyboard and hopefully it doesn't crash my computer. No, it'll actually crash Blender. Yep, sure did. So we're not going to worry about that. So that's pretty much it.